You're listening to Hayes Radio Network, Cannabis Lifestyle Radio. Motherfucker. Coffee Pot. Here we go. We got Subat Inc. presents Coffee Pot. And today we got some very good guests. We got a great show. Uh, we got all bosses on here today. So let's let's get into it. What's up, Rico? How you doing, my brother? What's good, Drew? How you doing, my G? I'm good, man. I'm good. Man, yeah. why you put me next to uh, somebody got a deeper voice than me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was Barry White today. Uh, <laughs> you will never find. Well, well, you will never find. Everyone, that, that was Big P. So, yeah, yeah, uh, we yeah, got yeah. Big P on the show. <laughs> You've been got... trying to get me here for a long time, Los. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, we have. Yeah. We have. I finally found somebody to drop me off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got Debo to our left. What's Tiny. Up, What's good, Tiny? Tiny. Love y'all too, man. Ho- hoping man. him. No, I tuck my chain. Uh, beat up everybody. <laughs> okay, you tuck it. Okay, I'm tucking my shit now. He always be looking at my shit. Hey, I be hey. looking at your chain. <laughs> and, 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 and he ready to deliver a beat down. Yeah, right? exactly. Man, person, you family, but golly, that jury be looking good. Well, let's see, hey, maybe the itis will kick in. Yeah. Hey. And everybody, but last but not least, Super CEO. So, <laughs> yes, sir. How's everybody doing? What's Thanks up? for having me, man. I appreciate it. Miami. Yeah, Pineapple Express much. delivery, all good. Thank you very much. Rico, it's always a pleasure. Dude. Big Percy. It's great. You know great. Rico Suave? Oh, man. Yeah. Suave. I got, I got love hey. for that, brother. Ave, ave. All good. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> so, so let's, let's first uh, start off because it's kind of interesting because, uh, you know, pretty much everybody up here likes the Lakers. P sometimes, sometimes he do, sometimes he don't. I don't like no Lakers. But he is a Kobe guy. I, so I, 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 I will say this. He is a Kobe guy. Do y'all want my quick yeah. history why I don't really rock with the Lakers right now? Why? Yeah. I don't really rock with the Lakers because, and I'm giving y'all exclusive on the coffee. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how can you break up a dynasty between Shaq and Kobe? You know, Woo! That that was, was, that's a good one. That mm. was at least seven titles. That was. True. So True. at least. As the most dominant big men in the I, game. I've always been a Laker fan from Showtime, the real Lakers. You know what I mean? Kareem, Magic. I even fuck with George Mike. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Will, that's real Lakers Showtime. So then when the young boys came and Shh. egos got involved and, you know, all that bullshit and when Kobe caught his little situation, you don't snitch, you don't bring up old shit and say, why, when I got in trouble, you know, what about Shaq? What about Shaq? What about Shaq? <clears throat> Brother, you got in trouble. That's you throwing true. your big man under the bus? Mm-hmm. So make a long story short, years later, years later, I finally got a chance to talk to Kobe. And I asked him, what the fuck was you on? I said, I really don't fuck with the Lakers no more because you broke up that situation. He could have been an asshole. He could have said, Big P, fuck you, unk, fuck you, whatever. <laughs> right. He kept it 100 and said his ego was fucked up. He thought he was bigger than Shaq, and he was wrong for doing that. When he did that, I told him I loved him. I'm back. Cool. 100. Linked him up with Dog. Dog gave him the Laker car for us when yeah, he uh, retired. That was a, that was a great everything. going away gift. It was a great going away gift. Seen him at Puffy's uh, 50, 50th birthday party. We had a ball. We balled out. And... I, I mentioned it again. He said, oh, thanks for mentioning that to me, man. That, that was a real eye-opener. I know I affected a lot of people with that, and I should have, uh, you know, I thought I was invincible at that time. Okay. So that's why, you Good. know, I still have a little ill will with the Lakers. I'm, I'm gradually, I'm L.A., you know what I'm right. saying? I'm West Coast like a motherfucker. But to throw it in people's face, you know, all I, all, I always go against the grain when it comes to dog and all that shit, so... Fuck it, I'm Clippers today. I like that, P. I like that, P. Yeah. That's an interesting point. The reason why is, okay. Hey, P, what happened to our Clippers, though? Wait, we got uh, Super CEO on here, and he got he got a heat. Yeah, he's a Miami Heat. Yeah, he's right. a Miami Heat guy. He's CEO. So, he's so about, he about to take yeah. the heat. So, so Sean's a Marine, right. and he's a Miami oh, 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 oh. Heat okay. man. Yeah. Like, so let's, let's, let's get into this. Yeah. Can I explain? Yeah. You- <laughs> always. Always. Uh, so, all right. So, so first off, um, you know, I'm I've, I've not originally from Miami, obviously. I'm from Connecticut. But 
I've lived in Miami now 11 years, and uh, the Heat did something, you know, very special. Uh, as Debo pointed out, I'm a Marine Corps veteran. <clears throat> I served during uh, pre and post 9/11, and uh, so the Wounded Warriors Association had a uh, had a great partnership with uh, the Heat, and they did a, a you know kind of like a military thing. So they invited about 12 of us. I was the only Marine. Had us on there as TNT, they're playing the Suns. Uh, gave us course size seats, uh, you know, took us on the tour, met okay. all the players in the locker room and all that good stuff, showed us, you know, a lot of love. And um, and it was cool because I actually got Pat Riley's seat. So, you know, on my ticket, it didn't say a seat number, it just said Riley. Right, right. And uh, so that was that was cool. And then I, I happened to Which see... Which is a Laker. Pat Riley is a real that Laker. That is a Laker. Played for the a, Lakers, coached true. the Lakers, yeah. and did everything. He went over there to Miami. Continue. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Riley brought some chips home to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he took Lakers over there to get chips. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's go true. Ahead. Appreciate that. Huh? Yeah, go Bars. Ahead. Uh, <laughs> Bars. Bars. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a great event, and I actually ran into Pat Riley. I saw him in the stands. I was going to the bathroom, and I said, "I think I'm sitting in your seat." And he said, "Enjoy. You know, uh, you can have this seat anytime. We can do anything for the, you know, for the for the veterans and everything like you guys done for us." So, that's you know, I'm not a huge huge. Uh, Basketball fan, so I wouldn't, you know, but I, I got to rock with them because okay, yeah, they that, did that. now that right there makes sense. And I, Miami's noble, been very noble good cause, to me too. and he he be on yachts and all type of shit, right. canoeing all through Miami. So. Yeah, I, I, got, I got a you know, I, I got a question. You, you I, know. I, I've been there. You've been there. <laughs> I, I got a question. Has Miami ever been bad to anybody? No, 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 no. Hell yeah. Yeah, he got a story. He got a story. He got a story. Tell us about tell, it. He lived in about South it, Beach for two months. I lived, Damn. Yeah, I lived there about for three, four months. It was too much for me. I lived in Portofino Towers. Got my car stolen the first day. Ice-T told me, don't catch a case. Right. Eat it. But damn, it was. Uh, I had $100,000 worth of stuff in it. My Louis, everything. Wow. So the hell with the South Beach. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. Nah. Yeah, he yeah, got that coffee in that pot, so we good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I don't have a uh, super bad logo on my cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we just we keep everything bl- uh, all black. Uh-huh. And the reason why is, you well, know, we usually, we usually have the coffee pot up here. Uh, during the show, we'll have somebody bring put it up here, but... The coffee pot has been around everybody's family for over, you know, five, six hundred years. Mm-hmm. And you can't go nowhere with nobody, uh, ancestors or, or family member have never have a coffee pot in their house. Right. So with that whole statement, it made us feel that we also need to have a coffee pot. And also, it's in every black household in America. Yeah, I think, I think what are they called? Uh, kettles also? Yeah, so? yeah you kettles. Put, you put the little thing yeah. on. Go on, yeah, my, yeah, my granny got one yeah. still. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And that's, well, and that's where we keep I'm our t- weed. I'm gonna tell y'all now. I don't. I got true legacy vodka mm-hmm. in my coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm on. That ain't no wrong with that. Yeah. Is it? Is it? The, is it the high distilled? Yeah. Like the, you like the five time or whatever? No, 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 no. Tell no, me to no. break it down. No, why no, you like no, it so no. much? May, may I? No, 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 no. I'm rocking. Go, go, I'm, I'm going. I'm, rocking I'm gonna let the professor <laughs> break it. Down. I'm gonna let the professor go ahead. So, so, teach, so this is me. Uh, he knows me. all the breakdowns and intricate parts. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this vodka is. You know, I, I gotta say something too because I'm not a I'm not a heavy drinker or anything like that. But and I mm-hmm. and I only mess with uh, like a cognac. But sure. Never mess with vodka. But this this is uh it's first of all it's organic corn. Oh, cool. All right, That's it's organic awesome. corn. It's uh-huh. seven times distilled. Oh, seven. Nice. Everybody seven. else, Damn, everybody lucky else is cheap. I, I never even knew they but, could do seven. But That's wait, fucking wait, crazy. Wait for it. Huh? Wait, because wait for everybody it, else is cheap and they only doing five. They mm, just, how, 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 how does it? But how wait, wait smooth, for it. Huh? But wait be, for yeah. it. It's, there's extras here. So uh, it's also, you know, if that's not enough, it's three times... Uh, triple filtered over diamond filters. Yeah. Wow! Damn. So, diamonds. so it actually tastes like um, a little like <laughs> tastes like some boot camp water. To be honest with you, like you know, something's in it, but it tastes like water. You think right. you're being set up, so it's very smooth until you get until yeah. you get drunk. And for the health, <laughs> health nuts also is gluten free. It is gluten free. It's gluten free. That's lovely. Yeah. It's good to be organic. Though. Yeah, it is. No yeah. smell, no burn when it's it goes important. down. You know, I'm a tequila drinker, so my partners they said, "P, let's jump into this." Let's start with the number one liquor in the game, which is vodka, mm-hmm. and then we'll drop your tequila. I was a little leery, but then, you know, after two-year process of putting it together, they came back with the right shit, and it's rave reviews right now. We, You know, I'm not going to say don't fuck with Ciroc, because that's my <laughs> homeboy. Yeah. 
but I'm going to say don't fuck with Tito's because they don't do shit for us. So Facts. we're going we're gonna to push True Legacy. True and if you're still hooked and ready, you know, on that Ciroc, support Puff. That's my man. We're going to keep that in the family. But if you want that real deal holy feel, <laughs> <laughs> that holy water, because today is Sunday, <laughs> that holy water, like church say, get that true legacy, man. Keep it true and always build your legacy. Hey, hey, bro, <laughs> hey, hey Percy. Ooh. Percy. I, I went got... uh, Billy D on that one. So, so, <laughs> Billy so, D. So, so Perce, I got to ask your I got to ask your opinion, just because we brought up talking about, you know, Puffy and stuff and Ciroc. What do you think about those verse challenges that they've been having on with Snoop and DMX? In your opinion, mm -hmm. who won that? Well, I thought they were badasses, man. That shit was fucking unbelievable. A million and a half, yeah. two million people fucking watching it live. That yeah. was some shit. That was the best one. So you tell, want, tell, you tell want the, the honest? Tell me, yeah. I mean, you watched it. I felt Snoop killed it, but you you tell me. Dog buried the dog. Yeah, when you come home yeah. and you <laughs> mad, he was, and he was and in a rare kick form. your dog, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't want to do nothing to the wife, just kick the dog. <laughs> Man. He dog, was in rare form. I mean, you know, rare form. Dog's energy is through the roof. Well, sure what, what was your opinion of the winner, the one with the girls? Then the, what, what the ones? Monica. Like, yeah, Monica. Yeah. Brandy. Brandy. Oh. What do you think? Monica. Of that one? I was Monica. That? I was mm -hmm. constantly texting Ray J because that's my nephew. Ray, okay. Ray okay. J. Shout out Ray J. Okay. Me and Dog was so mad at Ray J and upset with Brandy for not singing. If she would have sang mm. her oh, shit, yeah, Monica, uh, what, yeah, what she was with that won. shit? Right, what was with right. that shit? They went right. to Hollywood. Oh, I know. Woo! And what was I mean, what was the Patty LaBelle? Who was who? There was another one just did, now, legendary one. But did one. you see how the Triple OGs, Patty and Anita came? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 that was that was uh, nuts. Yeah, they was took nuts. it to classic. The, they they what you took say? It to the next Triple OGs. Triple OGs. Yeah, I T Patty and Miss Baker went on there, showed out, kicked shoes. Patty brought her luggage, brought shoes, everything. They had a good time. And then they brought one of their homegirls, a.k.a. rival. They brought Dion Warwick. Yeah. Oh, yes. My God. yes. Yeah. How yes. wild they, was that? They didn't oh, want her to God. get her How feeling. How wild was that? And they brought Dion on. So, and what do you think about that one out of the triple? You That's pick, crazy. Pick, pick they one. Pick That's one, though. Nuts. Who is the winner of the three? Just having them all. I'm going yeah, to keep it 1,000. Yeah. Yes. Miss Baker won that. Hey, okay. don't get it. Yeah, Anita okay. won that. Okay. Anita won that. You know, Patty was, Anita's she was vibing with, and, and she was more excited to be there and was singing uh, Anita stuff and everything, but Anita, she took the platform and showed up. Okay. Yeah. And for these yeah. for these younglings yeah. that listen and millennials that have no idea. And Monica won the one against Brandy. They should, Monica. They, 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 they should check should the numbers. Monica. They should check the numbers. And we got to give thanks to Rick Ross for helping fund Anita's first album. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had him on. We were talking, yeah. he was talking about that. It was Freeway great. was on. That's yeah. all yes. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Freeway. Shout, shout Freeway. The real Freeway. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The real Ross. The real Ross. So, yes. real Ross. I, yeah. I, so, I, said, I know I we got a lot. Okay. I know we got a lot of topics, but let's start out with, with Sean and Debo. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. First off, how did. You talking about freaking frack? Yeah, freaking frack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what's up? That's, that went over my head. So, <laughs> tell, tell, everybody, tell everybody about Pineapple Delivery Express. Please. And then the relationship that you two have, the synergy, yeah. and the whole, the whole vision. Yeah, uh, basically, so, you know, Pineapple Express is a subsidiary of Pineapple Inc. Uh, so we're a publicly traded company. And uh, I'm the CEO, and we own Pineapple Express, which is your statewide delivery in California. Of, uh, you can think of it as your mobile dispensary. Uh, under you, uh, in, in, in greater, Los, uh, greater Los Angeles area, we get to you in under two hours in most cases. Uh, no delivery fees. Time. Yeah, absolutely. No, no delivery, delivery fees. fees either. Transactions, uh, also transactions. So we actually accept credit and debit. Okay. Damn. Flex great. on them. That's Flex great, on everybody, them. to know that. Which no one, no one really does. That's right. great. So uh, especially during uh, COVID, you know, having that, uh, you know, transaction. Uh, Delivery has gone off the roof. Yes. What I heard yeah. is like oh, the yeah. 30, 40, it's like fucking crazy, right? Yeah, absolutely. We tripled yeah, and doubled sales throughout uh, COVID. Yep. Uh, Debo yep. was a big part of that. Nice. Um, My yeah. man. Shout out. Shout out. 
We actually own the uh, we own the trademark THC. Right. So that's our in-house brand. We carry all the major brands, as you can see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, own, you own the trademark of THC? Yeah, we do. Yeah. You knew that, Rico. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to give y'all a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you trying to call yeah. out of yeah. yeah. I'm going to tap it off the backboard real quick. But, uh, but yeah, so we, we do have the trademark, and um, for right now, we do have the .com as well. So if you actually okay. go to THC.com, you'll get rerouted nice. to order from Pineapple Express. Nice. Um, we own Pine <coughs> excuse me, Pineapple Express's uh, trademark as well and the dot com as well. Uh, so that's a that's a division. We carry a lot of high end now, brands. Is there, is there anything to do with Rogan and the strain? Is he anything to do with, with it at all or the movie or any kind of like, no. like spin so, off of that? Nope. Just out of curiosity. Nope. I'm yeah. glad you brought that up. I had to up. ask. You I'm know. glad you brought it up. Sure. We are not affiliated with the movie, Sony. Don't, sure. Don't come at us again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're, we're good. No, that's good. good, good. Um, yeah, we're not affiliated with the movie. But um, we, are, we carry all the high-end brands, as you can see here. We also have a division that's Pineapple Wellness, and that's a nationwide uh, hemp and CBD-only okay. health and beauty product. So we have nice. a lot of uh, Epsom salts and things of that nature. Um, also, from our you know our, our high-end stuff uh, for THC and Pineapple Express, Percy was a big part of bringing those uh, items together. Right. You got, um, you know, again, we have our, our in-house brand, but we also carry just 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 hot off the press is uh, Exclusive. Max yeah. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive motherfuckers. Red gas. This is Mac 10's brand. This is uh West Coast. This is testing Checking about hot. 32% right now. Uh this one here is uh is Napalm. This is Exhibit's Damn. brand. Damn. Right. This is I mean as a uh, as a so, veteran. Oh no no, can I see that? Because <laughs> yes. I'm 25 years get, in the thing. Give it back. And, I, and, 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 and <laughs> I told back. I told Carlos I said Carlos they should be giving one for the station so it's definitely I, I yeah, can't wait to go he, did, he, I, def I, yeah, he definitely said that shit last because week <laughs> we, you know we helped launch j -Row and all the guys from the Alcoholics uh, oh yeah all their yeah, cannabis yeah. stuff yeah. we did stuff with Digital Underground and a bunch of other groups mm. and then uh, j -Row was telling me how they just went on this tour like he did this great tour and the fucking they all went back and they just did it right before COVID and they were supposed to keep going and shit but everything got fucked up but while COVID's going on, what is Exhibit doing? This fucking killer. It's got the cool glass tip right on the top. No, yeah. And these are like... That's uh, the best packaging these I've are ever like, seen in Canada. Yeah, yeah, to, right, be yeah, to be honest, that, that's, yes. you know... Yeah. I, was I mean, and, 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 and that's going to that, that's be legendary. Oh, this yeah. is... this is not, yes. this, Plus, this is my season, too. This is perfect for... Can I see that? You know, for, uh, yeah, yeah. for Veterans Day. Right. So uh, how, I, how I linked with Debo is um had a, a mutual friend who was doing some uh some development for us curtis jones kurt biggie jones shout out to him uh so he basically um i think you guys i was away but actually this was you know the whole thing actually even with percy uh because debo introduced me to percy so this whole happened when john witherspoon died okay that's exactly Pops. that transformed all this stuff honestly okay. because you guys ran into each other at the funeral Mm -hmm. And then you didn't really say much. You said hello or whatever. But then just by, you know, sheer chance, you guys ran into each other at Dave & Buster's later that mm -hmm. day. So he was taking his My kids. My daughter's birthday. And right. he took his daughter. And then he told him about, uh, Curtis told him about Pineapple. And mm -hmm. so I came back early uh, to meet up with Debo. And then we basically, yeah, we signed that night right. uh, to be a spokesperson. And we, we went right into, uh, that was, I think that was November of last year. Went to Vegas. And then we went to Vegas and Tore killed. Tore it up. So, we killed. Yes. Tore it up. I, I saw yes. you guys. Yeah. I saw you guys because we talked about this. Yeah. That we saw you guys at the MJ BizCon. I think we even yeah. came by. Yeah. The, Everybody was young saw us. Now, yeah, now, yeah. Was now getting now, people's now, He was holding I, court. Now, yeah. I, I, I do, I used to speak at a lot of the shows throughout the Pineapple years. Pineapple Express. I know I've seen him at a few cannabis booths, either being That's a sponsor that. or thing like that. So I know that you've personally chosen to be in the cannabis industry for a few years now, right? Well, I was with I was with a uh, uh, <coughs> Monster Energy drink for eight years. Yeah, with Monster. And I was looking okay. for something else that that make a lot of noise with the can right. and cannabis is the new thing. Right. And every so now, you know, every everybody came around to snoop, you know. <laughs> right. No, nah, but, uh, but what was it before Pineapple Express? Uh, it, was, it was like it was I didn't do nothing with nothing. You, you didn't promote it was, any like or I people was, were at you're at their booth as maybe a celebrity guest or something like that. I, can't I know remember. it was maybe at a CWCBE or something like that, but I could have sworn I've seen him. That's why he has such a remarkable presence. So I, I know I'd seen him oh, at, yeah. you know, he at a man's attention. At a bunch of different how he got me to sign the contract. He gave me a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wrap. 
<laughs> we, we brought that we brought nice. that bicycle. He rode it through uh, MJ BizCon, almost got us kicked out about twice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but but yeah, we made some noise there, and uh, and that's actually um, I think I think Percy found out that he heard that Debo was there somewhere. Yeah, yeah I, called, and, and, I was, Purse call, and Big Purse called me. Yeah, I was down at my Nuggle Boo. Yeah, uh, yep. I was down at my Nuggle Boo. So, I think you guys were so fam called right at the end. And we was to telling end. me, P, you know Debo down there. I was with you. Yeah, you was with me. Yeah. Low, low yeah. sure was. Oh, you was there too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I called D, and then we went down there. D introduced me to Sean and Sean's team. Mm -hmm. And then me and Sean been building ever since then. And now we made a few things happen. Sean can probably give you exclusive. I just signed with Pineapple, uh, Pineapple yes, Express. Yes, sir. And Exclusive. Yeah. For hey, oh, that uh, dream team. Hey, Percy. Oh, Percy, since we, uh, <laughs> since you, hey, Percy, since you, uh, <laughs> since you happened to mention Nuggle. And you were there because we we yeah. sat down. Los yeah, we brought, sat down. Yeah. Yeah. Los brought so, me the other stuff. So speaking of speaking because we happened to bring up Nuggle at the time was the CEO president was uh, Ali Ganji who uh, passed away. Shout out, uh, Ali. If you want yeah. to, yeah. Well, I think it's in John Air. You want to say something about the man? We always talk about every once in a while when people known him a little remembrance yeah i mean ali was a part of nuggle you know ali had some things going on uh outside of nuggle that i won't bring up you know we'll let the man rest in peace and sure, everything sure Praise sure God. but he was a definitely an intricate part of nuggle and you know i sent mine up to him and his family and everything else we did some things for him over with the nuggle family with big a and everybody just to you know ease the pain of his loss and whatnot sean also was working with him yeah. Right. And, yeah. Uh, shout yeah. out to the guy too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a good cat, man. Definitely got cut too early in the prime. Forty one is definitely young to be taken away from this uh planet, that's for sure. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Just the brother, man. So uh so Pineapple Express, you know, they can they order online uh the the national C B D product? Then? I'll bring it to your house. Yeah. 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 So on a well, bicycle. Well for the for the wellness products, yeah, we yeah. do deliver nationwide. So they can just go to pineapplewellness.com and order anything from there. Choke nice. you out. Nice. <laughs> no. You guys you guys doing full spectrum? Broad spectrum, correct. Yeah, broad spectrum. and and isolate stuff for now, or just sticking with the broad spectrum. Broad or? spectrum for yeah. the for the wellness, yeah, for right yeah, now, yeah. Nice. This is, the Epsom I'm, salt works very well. <laughs> John, Epsom salt works very yeah, well. Y'all make me feel like yeah, a more yeah, instead nah, of Friday. All this dope, yeah. right? all this. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were smoking every day on Friday. So. Oh man, man. And, and, was, and, was, and, was, the, and the watch with Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Oh yeah, I was in yeah, that day. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I was in that exhibit. Exhibit everybody. Big P. Eminem. Eminem. Yeah. Big Shaq. Yeah. yeah, man. They was crazy. Was, was it just out in the trailers? Everybody hey, just man, playing? We had a motel right next to the car wash, and it was lit. Really? I was trying to start. I was getting high just from the uh, from contact. The, fucking yeah, the contact. Yeah. That's fucking <laughs> great. That's great. That probably just helps with the whole atmosphere of everybody coming in now and feeling yeah. comfortable and, and putting, a, putting a good movie production together. Being a part of that experience probably was now when you look back at all the different things you've done was was that by far stood out as your most favorite experience was being on what, friday? friday yeah friday was a yeah how do you if y'all could have seen what we was doing they was jam they were joking with each other behind the scenes huh. if y'all could have seen the stuff that wasn't filmed classic beyond it was belief, crazy right? man they was having jam sessions going at each other bernie mac rest in peace uh mr witherspoon uh Faison, like roast, Chris, like they were going, ro they was was going roast, at it, roasting type shit and or F, what? And F. Gary Gray was the director, right? It's a classic. Yeah. So sure. man, we had sure. the coolest director in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And 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 what what was your second aside from Friday? What was your second favorite thing that you've done as a as an entertainer? I did a movie called Armed and Dangerous with the late John Candy. Oh, okay. you got to love we, and, John and, Candy. And uh, Eugene Levy. We, oh. we improv the whole damn movie. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That, was, that was a dope movie. Yeah. He, he, he was is, an amazing human being. Yeah, what a great guy, right? From mm -hmm. what I've heard in person was just naturally yeah. a very nice, he was, genuinely awesome fucking guy. He was a giver. He, he was big, even though it was like you felt, you know, he had these inner problems about his weight and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he he, he rose rose above that always. Like, he you never money, tell. He gave money to everybody. Right. Really? His own money, too. Really? That's really you heard nice. You heard you had a problem, you didn't have no problem no more. he take care of it. Come on, really? Yeah. I mean... Really? Wow. My, good my, man. The black guy that uh, plays my double, he's uh, uh, Manny, Manny Perry. He played. He was a double Incredible, Incredible Hulk. 
when they put that green on him. But uh, his father passed away, and uh, uh, he sent him home. You put him in the, the Five Star Hotel. You had a, a town a, ro- a limo sitting there. He paid for the funeral and kept him on salary while he was gone for three weeks. He said, take wow. your time. That's wow. That's a good man. And, wow. and he did stuff wow. like that. Right, that's yeah. a good man. Wow. And was he, was he, was it always movies or was he on SNL? Was he, was he part mm-hmm. of SNL or no? He was He come from that Canadian um, part. I think he did a, what's the other one called? It's not SNL, it's the other one. No, I don't, was it not Mad TV? No, not Mad TV. Mm-hmm. It's oh. another, it's another one. Yeah. Benny fuck. Hill. Uh, is it at PBS or something? Uh, no. PBS? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no, saying Benny Hill. Benny Hill was like the hey, state. Hey, P, I used to watch Benny Hill. <laughs> yeah. Benny, Benny Hill was, was soft like porn. He has the bitches up there. He had that soft porn on Benny Hill, man, right? Skirts and shit. I watched yeah. the shit at a bit here late think, night. I think you're talking so, about the BBC channel, right? Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, from England. Yeah, That's what it is. Yeah, Fuck with Benny something. Hill. Yeah. So, yeah, I love them English so, actors. So let's go into the West Coast legend, P. Can somebody give Pomona Dre a joint? He out there. Somebody throw him something. He keep texting oh, me man. and all that. He, he can have whatever you want. Yeah, old smoking Joe Frazier's son. <laughs> all right, Logan, go ahead. Somebody outside? Uh, Pomona and, Dre, and, he's, and he's here, exclusive. Hey, uh, Somebody yeah. throw him so, so Exclusive. Let, let, let's get into the West Coast legend. Yeah. Uh, P is a legend, uh, been a legend for a long time. Yes, We've sir. been rocking for over 30 years. Yes, sir. It ain't too many that's still on his level at, at this part. Dope. Uh Still, 25, 30 years later, he's still on top. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, ain't, nothing else, ain't nothing else to be said. Who are you talking about me? Yeah, we talking yeah. about you. Oh, and shit. I love that jury get, you got, person. Hey, man, let me no. tuck this shit out. Yeah, shiny. <laughs> like Demo, a mother. Yeah, man. <laughs> this shit out of here. <laughs> All right, y'all, oh, y'all talking about me. Let me get it together. My mama might be on here watching. Yeah, I mean, I've been around, man. You know, me and Los come up together from playing basketball against <clears> each other. You know, high school day. What high school? I went to Wanda. He went to San Bernardino. Okay. We had, you know, big rival games in CIF. He played with Brian Russell and all that CIF. stuff. CIF. You know, I was over there with a couple of hitters, too. So yeah. San Bernardino, Wanda was new. San Bernardino was the big brother. We was the little brother. We battled, you know, from oh, there. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, from there. Nice. You know, we was always players and always making things happen. So y'all play against each other? Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you boy. Hey, who, who got the best of it? I mean, I'm gonna say me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! And then, and, and, and then I'm gonna say me. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I ended up getting the jury. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, yeah I mean, are, are we gonna see a rematch? Oh, What's them going days on, is over. Man? Oh yeah. Them days is over. All <laughs> be them days is gone. Hell yeah! That's why I use this shit right here. This CBD, yeah. Epsom salt shit. Yeah, them days is over. But you know, it's it's longevity in this game, man. I've been I've been around some heavyweight players and some heavyweight situations. But it just had came to a point. I was tired of making everybody else money. You know mm, what I mean? Free. I wanted to make myself money. I wanted to make some longevity and some do some things for my family and my legacy. Mm. So I'm I'm connected with everybody. I do a lot of things. You know, I, I uh, matriculate and do a lot of plays that people don't even know about that's happening in this industry. I don't need the credit. I don't need the credit at all. I need that bag. So right. that's why I started RMM. RMM is the foundation of everything I do, you know, from the car company, the car club, to my store out in Vegas, uh, the place. I'll, I'll be there November 13th. You've you, you been there two, three yeah. times, sold all your merch, everything. Going back again <laughs> yeah. in November. Yeah. Business. He, he didn't really sell it. He he he, he, he coerced people into buying it. Buy my shit. <laughs> no, literally, that's what he did. Choke <laughs> your ass. <laughs> Buy my shit. Break your Buy ass. Buy my stuff, fool. Yeah. And he sold out. <laughs> yeah. 40, 45, 45 minutes. Hell yeah. 45 minutes. So, so out of all your ventures, which, which one, in your opinion... Because they all mean something important to you. From golf so. beef to the vodka to my Persevere uh, CBD line to the stuff I do with Nuggles to the stuff I'm doing now with Pineapple Express. They all play, you know, the stuff I do in Pomona with Pomona Dre and my cousin Sugar Bear, Sugar Bear Entertainment. I mean, I, I've always came from the, the old school. If you got your hand in 10 things mm. and one thing hit, you mm. good. Mm-hmm. But what if 10 of them hit? Mm. Right. You see what I'm saying? Preach. If, if 10 of them hit you, excellent. Preach. So I'm, I'm always trying to juggle, man, and keep the legacy alive. So I, I would say the foundation is RMM. Everything falls under RMM. 
So I'm basing them, banging everything off me because RMM is me. Right? Yeah. So how long RMM uh, been in existence? I'm going to give you another exclusive. Don't know. Exclusive. Rico? Yes, sir. Exclusive, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we was on a tour bus, probably like one of my first tours with Snoop and the Dog Pound and whatnot. And we was fucking around. I remember like it was yesterday. Uncle Rio and Uncle Junebug, Snoop's uncles, both brothers, they was about to get in a fight in the front of the bus. Because Uncle Rio wanted to watch wrestling and Junebug wanted to watch some uh, uh, some karate shit. Right. right. <laughs> rest in so, peace, Junebug. Yeah, uh, rest in peace, Bug. So they was about to get in a fight. Uncle Junebug told Rio, you see this pinky? I can kill you with this pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn, huh? You gonna kill your brother with your pinky? I said, fuck it, I wanna see it. <laughs> so we on the bus, they about to get in the fight, and then some shit had happened later, and we was all laughing, and then Daz said, uh, man, P, you, you always be in the middle of this shit, man. You need to start a company. He said my last name, Roderick. Music marketing. I'm like, damn, okay. I, you know, I was, I was just happy to be out the hood and on the road. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about no business at that time. I was, t I was happy to be away from the shit I was doing. Right. And he was like, man, Roger with music marketing, because you were always trying to put shit together, market shit, branding people's shit. And I went back to the room. I'm like, damn, okay. I said, well, shit, R, that's Roger. Marketing, mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, music, mm. RMM. Uh -huh. Went back on the bus. I said, "Yeah, man, I started my company, Dad's thing." <laughs> RMM. <laughs> it's, it's on all uh, the Pup Pup Pass, the first Pup Pup Pass yeah. DVD. It's all on there. And then from there, I just started making moves. But you know, when I first came around, Snoop, within a week, I brought a big bag. Right. It wasn't. I was just there to hang out. I had some people, Player Ham, from the Penthouse Players Kick. That's what I was rolling with. And they had some money they was trying to get to Snoop, and they never had a way to get it to him. Within that week, I brought that bag. And then I was just like, damn. Dog, you could be doing this. Now, dog, these motherfuckers over here got some money. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Dad. And I just started bringing plays, just working my way up, you know, finding my lane. Because I don't rap, I don't sing, I don't dance and do none of that shit. You just in a rap video yesterday. I was in a rap video because <laughs> I directed it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's called cool. Percy oh, Spielberg. Yeah, Percy <laughs> Spielberg. He had a director's oh, chair man. and everything. Yeah, I he came out last night. <laughs> but that was the situation yesterday. It was Rider Gang Saturday. Right. Uh, Exhibit is dropping some new music. Tell us about Rider Gang. Yeah, what, what is Rider Gang, please? Well, Rider Gang is my car club. Okay. Right. And I started it during this pandemic situation. Mm. It was just a way for me to get out the house and see my friends and mm. fellowship and pull out my cars because I, I was bored in the house, bored in the house. That was Pinky? I had bought Pinky, but I had my pink Cadillac. Your uh, white one? Well, the white one is Oreo. Yeah. The pink one is called <laughs> Pussy Pink. Yeah. <laughs> the orange one is Orange Crush. And then the brown one is called Root Beer. Right. Excuse me, Root Beer Float. And Floating. All my friends, you know, Wiz got cars, Dog got 30 cars, Exhibit got cars, <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer got cars, Mike Epps got cars, the NBA boys got cars, and I had started my bike gang first. Yeah, on, on the bikes. On bikes first. Yeah, just to keep, you know, active, get out the house, see each other, We're doing our social distancing shit. And then from there, I'm That's like, fine. okay. That's fine. Bike. You had me thinking about that shit, but I seen yeah. you was riding 10 miles, no, then 15 no, miles, at least then 30, 30 miles. I'm like, oh, hell no. We was going 15 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. I think our longest was like a 32-er. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, okay, I won't Dave be a part of this it. one. He threw up his first ride. Yeah, yeah I was but like, Dave, I wouldn't Dave, be a part of this yeah. one. But Dave, 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 had a, Dave had a junior bike. Yeah, he had a seat was low. We had to stop every five his minutes. His ACLs was stretched to the max. Yeah, <laughs> keep a wrench in his back pocket, <laughs> fix his shit. Yeah, yeah so so. Rider Gang was just a way for us to get out the house, fellowship, make some things happen. And from there, it's grown. We're probably like three months in, in the works right now. Exclusive. Exclusive, motherfuckers, yeah. In the works right now with Matt Barnes <laughs> and his produ production company to uh, bring it to the TV world and, and all that type of stuff. We got merch. We got the website. Love it. And mm -hmm. We're just moving and grooving. And 
it's just growing and growing and growing. Now we, you know, we opened it up to everybody. Okay. Yeah. To get involved. I, I wanted it all. The brothers at first, we, we was on that BLM thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. And from there, you know, I fuck with everybody, so I brought the Brown brothers in and everything right. else. Because mm-hmm. we got the same thing. They always Breach. been trying to divide and conquer us. Breach. But we like the same things with the Hell same yeah. culture. Well, wear the same clothes, listen to the same Breach. music. Breach. Got the same cars. So we, we, we merged that. So one Hell day, yeah. can Coffee Pot come out only because, you know, we live, we, we live remote. We go wherever. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all can come out. Uh, Pineapple Express came out for their first run yesterday. Had a good time. Uh, handed out stuff to people. Network probably made about three different plays they about okay. to do that day. So the next one we do, even with the Mel's, even with the diner, even, even with the diner, we got something diner. going. Okay, Mel's Diner now has a, a drive-in movie Which, every weekend. Gotcha. So we're gonna have Pineapple oh, Express. How the, cool is that? <laughs> Making yeah. moves in the pandemic. Pineapple kind of, Express. Did you, hear, did you hear about the boat thing? There's, like, some kind of thing that they're setting up where it's, like, these little mini boats and you can watch a movie or a concert or something like that. They're going to have it in, like, San Diego or something. Somewhere around here, I it's, fucking it's, read. It started in Texas. They was doing yeah, it, like, in yeah, Austin. Yeah, but they're talking about doing out here, though, right? In yeah. uh, San Diego or someplace, like, not far from here. Well, we just did uh, one of Snoop's first DJ gigs in eight months. Uh, Los came. Oh, wow. We just... Uh, uh, we just did his first DJ gig out in Ventura at a drive-in movie theater. He was in the, yeah, he was in the middle, and then all the people in the car uh, drove up and watched. It was uh, cool. It was weird, but it was cool. <laughs> yeah, but still. It's a new age of entertainment, though. Yeah, it was so You have to was, adapt to that. What made it weird? Yeah, it, they, they were there cheering and singing and dancing and everything. It was so, just weird for me. So, so tell me what, what y'all three, what y'all got coming next, y'all three together. The Debo start because he falling asleep. Okay. No, man, I'm trying to fix this mask, man. <laughs> no. He too, he, I'm ready to do some more conv- mask. Take the mask oh, hell. off. Just yeah. take it off. Take it off? You, you good. You, you six feet. Hey, so, yeah, I want to do some more conventions. I'm Oh, I'm about to, we about to do some deliveries with my all my brothers, like MAC-10 exhibit. Yep. We're going to do some stuff. We're going to let me ride that bicycle and get deliver them some some pineapple express. So let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys how, how this how this. Uh, for those you that know that there's a strain called the Mac Ten. It's one of my favorite strains. Actually, it's one of the best fucking bombest weeds. Super well, high. This red THC. gas strain is. Uh, yeah. That's the. That's the. Uh, this is I'll new take, line. That's Mac Ten. I'll take. I'll take a. I'll take a little. Can I take it. a little hit of that or not? Those all my little brothers. Yeah, Mac Ten. Can I try a little nugget? Yeah. What did he say? A test of that, Sean? 32 30, or some at, shit? At least. Uh, let me yeah. see. Yeah, oh, about 32, test it out 33. Test out of Magic Johnson. Ooh, 32. Yeah. 32. Er, yeah, 32 is great. <laughs> er, me. Yeah, we started these. Uh, actually, the show. you know, you know, you know where the, the, the deliveries came from. We have, you know, we're doing this, you know, Debo's delivering to contest winners, especially during the pandemic. It was, right. it was crazy. So how it actually happened is uh, we were actually in Vegas back in December. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a... There was a nuggle nuggle party that Percy didn't even show up to. Cause I didn't go. Cause he said no. Cause you said you said you oh, took yeah. this. You took this shit. I got in the hot tub. And he was done. Yep. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not much of like a a, a party person either. Is, is but I D, thought so. we went to a party. Another party. Mm-mm, nah, not in Vegas. Not that time. Los, we did. Yeah, me and you did. Okay, yeah, y'all yeah. probably did. The next day or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, sh- I missed my own party. You, miss, you missed the party. I'm waiting on you all night. You never showed up. So then we went the next day. We went somewhere. See, I was waiting. Uh, I was waiting too. Yeah. That's what I, I was waiting too. And he was That's waiting what too. I cool. Debo, and Debo said, "Let's let's go back." We went back to the room and we just chopped it up. Okay. And yeah. then um and then he said, "You should let me uh, deliver uh, cannabis to to some cu- uh, to some customers." I'm like, "Nah, man, that, that's not gonna work." Oh, D said it. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, he just threw it out there, yeah. and then and then um it, we just forgot about it, and then the pandemic happened. I'm like, can we do that? So <laughs> so I had to look into it compliant wise and legally and everything like that, and then uh, I just took a I took a rip of it. Excellent. Already. I'm a fucking yeah. savage. Wait, I already, boom. Right I got the bong right here. I fucking do quick. Boom, boom. Yeah. Bing, yeah. bong, beat the bong, bong. <laughs> I was saying, that's, what, that's how we do on here. Uh, uh, that's what he said. He wanted a little, yeah. wanted a little uh, sprinkle. Me. Was yeah. super, that was like. That was nice. Strong. Yeah. Definitely, like you said, gassy. It is an OG Kush blend with something, right? Or what is what he is, said he's, it call, a, he's calling the strain red gas. 
Yeah, it's called red gas. He said it was a something hybrid mix. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's an indica dominant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. indica dominant, yeah. dominant hybrid. Really nice. Yeah, because yeah. cool. he didn't want nothing. He didn't uh, want nothing uh, that would just like sleepy tank you. weed. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. He didn't want sure. you to get high, but like, able, you know, still yeah. do something. I so, like indica. So then, um, so I came up with this idea, like you know, for four twenty. You know, the whole month was uh, mm. four twenty because every Friday, April twenty twenty. So right. um, every Friday, oh, yeah. we did a we did a delivery to a contest winner. So they was okay. they would sign up and uh, no purchase necessary. They would just go ahead and enter to win. And then uh, we had vendors um, that would sponsor, you know, the delivery. And uh, so Debo would roll up on the bike, literally on the bike, having the, having the bag. And again, you know, for compliance reasons, the actual delivery. It's kind of like publishers clearinghouse, right? right. Like right. people are in on it at, at the at the very last second. So he he delivers a bag of nothing. But then, you know, the, the actual delivery <laughs> transacts. So um, Hollywood. Yeah, but, but, but hey, but it was it was it was TMZ. it was awesome, man. We had a guy also remember the uh, the guy had his birthday. Um, he had a he had a trip to the Caribbean for the first time, and then he was stuck in the house. And he was like, man, if nothing else can happen, like this is this is amazing. You know what I mean? Like right. it's on his birthday. We had we did a Mother's Day one. We did a Memorial Day one to that's a veteran. Good. Tell them how TMZ jumped all over. TMZ right. found yeah. out and that's, 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 that's um, they threw us up. They that's threw us big. up, but not only just uh, you know the internet. They did a TV piece on us as well. So um, so we just you know just kind of did it like that. And this season with with Big Percy's help, I'm doing uh, I want to do celebrity to celebrity deliveries to right. to do a um, promo for their product. So for instance. You know, I want I want to do a Mac 10 uh, promo where he's you know mm. D- Debo is going to deliver a Mac 10's product to his his right. stuff, and then we could run the promo and say hey you know you want to get this on PineappleExpress.com right. this that and the other gotcha uh, same thing Love with it. Napalm that's yeah. genius Love it it works man it, it's, genius. It, people like it it works a lot so congratulations yeah. to y'all man y'all been and, killing and, it and the good thing about you, you you know Rico because you yeah. you were there yes. shoot man like. Rico from the beginning. Years. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Years, yeah. Brother. The, yeah. The name, it's been, the it's been, it's so been, saw, been fun. You Dude, saw. Yes. All, all the, you know, the all genesis. Went through the, and yeah. Yes. The napalm thing is yeah. awesome. I yeah. see a lot of products. Lowest will tell you 25 yeah. years. Yeah, oh, no, it ain't nothing like I, this. I, I won. I won. Yes. Let, 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 let me just crack it for a second. I won like 10 cannabis cups. Let me crack it for a second. I was like, that shit. Now, what I love about I'm a Marine Corps veteran, so only I can analyst. And my man over there. Yeah. Only we can handle. Big Fred. It's got a pimping glass tip. What strain is in there? It's called Lucky. Oh, nice. It's one of theirs. And the and the paper is. That thing is gorgeous. So check it out. So this is this is this is actually a quarter. This is a quarter ounce. So this is seven grams, high high grade, a Lucky strain. And uh, they they drizzle live resin in there. Yeah, of course. Mix that together, and Uh then they also the paper's dipped in live resin. So the paper itself will mess you up. I'm very familiar. Damn. And then you got that heavy that heavy you know uh, ceramic tip. Yep. And then you got this crazy packaging. This burns slow. It's shareable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least an hour and a half, probably two hours. It could be. Yeah, you can share this as long as you have your COVID test negative, you know. Yeah, that's the exactly. only that, that's the only thing that puts a damper on that fucking thing. But it's so boss, like you gotta have one just to have one in the just collection. Gotta find a way to smoke it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Like, yeah, nice. What do you, you know? <coughs> No, you just smoke like, it. This is like smelling salt. You, you go outside, uh, Rico, <laughs> let's say you're out in the balcony, puff, 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 right. puff, puff, and you just slightly put it out and you can make the thing fucking last for a while, bro. Man, I just smoke you know, with my family. If you know? had to like roll it yourself or you know, smoke I would smoke it. the whole damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would. Rico. So, 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 so Sean, this, this is what I love. You have a te- that's technology. The yes. whole delivery service is technology. Yeah, the, the logistics the on this is crazy. Day, yes. Tell them about the truck. Tell them about the truck. All right. So, so on our trucks as well, we have an IP. We have a, our founder as a, is an inventor. So he developed a patent that basically is um, it's it's your first uh, cannabis, more or less like a. Like a vending machine that takes okay. biometrics and mm-hmm. also houses that can connect to the health department, tells you what you're able to receive, and uh, mm-hmm. you can basically, you know, get dispense your cannabis. It's a scale and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's just like the at the hotel if you take a Gatorade it's out, like a mini bar, and they already charge you downstairs for taking the Gatorade. Right. When you order, uh, so the employees can't steal. Everything is weighed. Right. As soon as they grab a bag or a jar, it's already calculated in the system. Run that money. It's already done. And the, the biggest thing from a business perspective, like, you know, in, in terms of back office, this helps a lot with shrink, right? So, yeah. you know, you don't have to actually um, even make assumptions for, you know, people stealing or, or something getting perished or getting damaged. Right. Um, it's, it takes less time to do those things in inventory, which is, you know, with metric, everyone knows that's like, you know, it's very, very on the up and up. And yes. for me, I, I, everything's black and white, nothing, mm-hmm. nothing in the gray. Exactly. Um, metric has been better. 
I, you know. They've been doing better? We can only do what they say. But, yeah. You know. <laughs> I mean, but it's but, easier to deal with. Yeah, for sure. Okay. No, they're, they're great. Okay. They're great. I, I just don't like when they when they when they destroy the the expired product right in front of your face. That's right. That's hurtful. Uh, okay. But, okay. But um, but it, but it's compliant. So um, but this this actually saves in your bottom line. You know, the less right. you spend on inventory, the man hours, and all mm-hmm. that stuff, um, which is scanning. You know, that's a crazy like. You, you guys think, are futuristic. You guys yeah. are looking. Yeah. This is like this is like uh, right? George if, Jetson. If, if, yeah, we love it. If, if the, I love it. If I love the it. system George is tight. But, but here's the thing. Here's, <laughs> here's, 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 here's one of the biggest things that like a lot of people don't understand about like the my, me and my executive team. A lot of us have, uh, you know, for myself, I don't have a long history with cannabis. I only tried it, I think, the first time when I was like 23. Right. Because I was in the military, right? So then uh, I think in my 20s, maybe five times. Okay. You know, um, so I look at this more of a, you know, for myself as a... Getting back into corporate was something that I, I wanted to do if I was going to be a CEO of a publicly traded company. Right. By the time you know, before I was forty, um, I, I do have four master's degrees, and I did have that. You know, Flex on them. Six, <laughs> six total. <laughs> six total. Four masters. Finished in Germany. My first one. Thank you. Exclusive. Yeah. But my CEO. I got, I I got an AA degree. My. <laughs> I, ain't got a, I don't even have an AA degree. But my, I got an AA and something else. I got it's a high. I got a high school degree, and that's it. <laughs> well, and also Rico, you know Josh. Yes. So that's my COO. He's a Wharton graduate. Yo, and he, he's yo, actually Josh. he's actually the biggest brains behind the logistics of how we are able to uh, get to people in under two hours and, and beat everybody okay. out. Yes. So we're we're basically like you know we call ourselves ease without the fees. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Because the logistics ooh. are. Ooh. Oh yeah. We, we, have, we have delivery wars right over here. We have wow. delivery wars. I mean, I'm just I'm Bars. just saying. Hey, ease I like don't it. want that problem. I'm I like saying. it. I like ease it. your you, ass out of here. You look yeah. at your. Oh, shit. I like it. <laughs> you look at your receipt and see those extra fees and stuff yeah. like that. No, I like it. So we're tra- we're transparent. We're not trying to shut anybody away. And the good thing about this this show, we like putting there. We like the hot seat. And if they want to bring it, they how bring does, it. How does someone, yeah. if they're interested... Ease on down the road. So, yeah. <laughs> Ease on if down the road. Not, if they're in SoCal and they're <laughs> interested in actually getting some stuff, uh, do they just go onto the website, do they download an app? How, yeah. do, we, how do we go through the process? So um, that's another thing that's been tough to do is get an app. We've been denied by, you know, the Apple Store and, sure, and, and Google sure. a lot. But how they, does one, are, do they go on a website then? They can just look up a menu correct. and then figure out what's up in their area. Does it reach all SoCal or what are we lo- what are we talking about? What correct. Range? So so just to finish that point up, the, the app is coming, though. We are working. Nice. Um, yeah. yeah, we are working well, with people the people could download an app off the website and it doesn't have to be that they got yeah, it they through an iPhone or whatever. Yeah, they can get an API. They can get a direct, yeah, yeah. Get an, a direct API. So that's yeah. what we're working on right now. That's okay. cool. Um, you know, it just takes a little more while to develop but we're, we're actually at the finish line for that but anyways you can go to pineappleexpress.com and literally just put your zip code in and then it'll, it'll you know tell, okay. you, tell you from Appreciate there that. or That's you can right. or you can call too you can yeah. you can call as well and um nice. so 1-800 we deliver you know and what, what's your what's your ig <laughs> uh my ig is ceo of cannabis okay and pineapple express is pineapple express delivers okay cool cool what's up pomona dre in the house where's he at we got here. Oh, there we yeah, go. He, he in the building. He in the building. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, we were walking. We were walking the streets at four in the morning in Vegas over with Sugar Bear, like just that. messing around. I like that chain, fam. Last month. Percy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. go ahead and get it. Percy, yeah. you yeah. get it. He got a lot of chain. Yeah. 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 I, I knew I could smell hey. some jewelry. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, so P. Before we bring in Pomona Dre, tell us a little bit about him, so then that way, and then we can go back to you, and then we can bring him in, let him do his thing. Yeah, let Pomona Dre, man, is a, is a talented young brother that I had been hearing about coming out of the streets of Pomona for a long time. He was already making a way for himself, already created a buzz, and then when uh, me and Pomona Pimpin' Young decided to uh, follow up and put the Pomona City movement together, uh, Dre stopped us. Uh, we out here, man. Yeah, Dre, uh, building, man. he jumped Howdy to the forefront. Beast. I'm on the Dre. Y'all got to tuck my chain now, you know what I mean? See what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Evo, From on the Dre, my his head. grandmama <laughs> gave him that chain. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, Pomona Dre jumped to the forefront of what we was doing with the Pomona City movement. I mean, the brother can uh, produce, plays every instrument, sings, raps. He does it all, so versatility. Versatility. So it was easy for me to, uh, you know, stamp him, bring him along with the RMM imprint, and also with the doggy style imprint. Right. 
and now he's working with my cousin Sugar Bear, Sugar Bear Entertainment, and they just collaborate, man, making some fire <clears throat> and just putting the P on the map. Like I always say, the P will always rise to the top. P and on them. And then, like I say, P on them. <laughs> and then, like I say, your father's here. And like, I say, <laughs> on the move. Yeah. like I say, funky dog head bitch. Yeah. I say all that shit. Oh, but, you yeah. know, Pomona Dre is a motherfucker. He brought Shoddy. Shoddy's part of the movement as well. They are uh, like Ebony and Ivory. They always creating shit. <laughs> I call them the piano keys. Ebony you know, black and white. And essays and, and Mexicans and all that. We putting everything together. Like I said, Dre is... He is Pomona. That's why right. the name of our city is in his name because he repped the P and he fuck with everybody. So, Pete, let everybody know how to find you. Oh, I you mean, can. You, you can find me at your mother's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I tell all these little young punks out here. You know, I am your crazy. father. You know why? Because I know where your mother lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can just find me leaving your mother's house late night. You know what I mean? And uh, that's where I'll be. Oh, my God. <laughs> Off the chain. You Look, burning, yeah, you're burning back. back. Yeah, that's where you're I'll be at back. your mother's house, man. So, uh, Pomona Drake. Hey, the last thing, I was with one of my okay. my little homies the other day. He was like, Uncle P, man, how do you sleep at night, man, doing all these things you do and everything? I said, I sleep well, because you know what? I'm next to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> that's how well I sleep. Exclusive. Wow. But go ahead, Pomona Dre is in the building, Shotty's in the building. Yeah, boy. Chat. Um, I brought my guy with me. You feel me? What's up with it? What's Get good? Up. Good? Got some uh, new music. Okay. Uh, what, you work, what you working on right now? Uh, man, I got a gang of EPs coming out with... Uh, my goal is to do an EP with every artist out of Pomona. You okay. Feel me? So uh, I've been working on that real tough. You know, it's kind of hard because we all from different sides, but uh, it's been going good. Uh, and I got my solo project coming out. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, <clears throat> right, Shotty. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm Shotty Boy. I'm a, produ I'm a producer from Pomona. So right now I've been working with Dre, a bunch of artists. You know, right. I got my brand and company. I just started as BTVMG. Just got that LLC. C. So you know, we out here just putting on. You know. Hold and, on a second. Hold on a second. I want to be in both of y'all videos too. <laughs> oh, oh, video man. vixen. That's what we got the video. <laughs> we got the. We about to shoot this video to this new song. Tell right. them what it's called, Dre. Right? my phone up. The song, the songs uh, I've been recording actually is crazy because uh, we like to chase vibes. Me and right. Shotty, we work real heavy. You know what I'm saying? We like to chase vibes. And uh, I was like, Shotty, let's see what we make off the True Legacy. Okay. You know I mean, we popped it open and we came with some. And y'all made some off yeah. the True Legacy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you want to play that now or you want to tell everybody about, you know? It don't matter. We came to rap. We came. Okay. That's what we yeah, came yeah, to do. Yeah, you came to do your thing. Right. Okay. I think they loading it up right now. Don't be doing no videos without me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That new we phone. Shot. She ain't got no headphones. Shotty like, so what? <laughs> Technical difficulty. We got a live audience out there. Yeah, we live right. streaming. All right, all right. Are they about to get down? Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they about to get, get down. Shit, go ahead. And then we'll talk about our sponsor. Hey. 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 Hey, niggas talking about that bad bitch can run it up. I can tell that head trash I ain't coming up. Had to learn to stay down when I was coming up. Clown niggas, y'all can miss me with that funny stuff. Play your cards how they dealt, bitch, and run me up. Hey, late night on the creek with that Glock on me. Uh, all noise on me, just like Pac on me. Uh, stop on me, that street sweet come in my for me. Uh, I'm fresh off the block, Gary and Olive. Uh, sneak this if you want, you got problems. My yeah, boy. knock a BD, y'all talking nonsense. Hey, I don't do the gossip, that's bra shit. Yeah, uh -huh. big chop gon' make you do the running man. Uh -huh. Hit that bitch raw with no lubricant. Mm -hmm. Free baby dog, that's my shooter, man. Yeah. My 
My day one snatch your chain off your booty, man. Hey, mm. got your bitch on my line. That's my newest fan. Hey. It's the low, Crip Street. It's the bluest man. If I can't knock a nigga out, I bet this Tully can. Run my pockets, I'm a Mac. Yeah, I'm truly in. Shot. She gonna run it up for real. That's what we do. Run it up. Got to bottle, little baby. Know the drill. She know the drill. Ain't no cabin in my rapping. Today hills. Hey, Come on now. Ain't no cabin in my rapping, little baby. Know the drill. Pee on him. Pee on him. <laughs> hey. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> My dividends, I'm pulling up, she getting in. I think, ask Pomona Young, yeah, I sent a bitch. Petting four, run me mine like I'm Money Mitch. Run me mines like I'm Percy on this C day. Ooh. Legacy doing a dash on the freeway. A grimy nigga just posted a bitch on eBay. eBay. All I needed was a suite and a prepaid. Hey, Motivated yeah. nigga, baby, help me create. Yo, nigga trying to be somebody else, cause he a remake. Uh-huh. We work every single day, bitch, cause we don't need breaks. Gotta stay down for the come up, baby, keep faith. Uh, just have that money ready when you see Drake. We turn up on the weekends like the weekday. Okay, she down the rebound for P-Town. EDD, oh, I guess these niggas think they peas now. <laughs> she gonna run it up for real. <laughs> yeah, we running it up. Talk to yeah. the bottle of Barry, no for real. Run it up for real. I said we gonna get it poppin', we gon' pull it to the hills. Ain't no cabin in my rapping, little baby, no the drill. Yeah, that's that hey. new shit, though. You that feel me? That shit gonna run it up for real. The feedback kind of crazy. We did it, though. Feel me? Yeah. Shit, come on in that house, right man. Hey, 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 all that. Them niggas the made a hit, man. Yo. Yo. He gonna bust it down. He bust it down. That's you know what I mean? Boy. She gonna run it up. Hey, yo, I want to hear that weekend line again. That shit was ill. Yeah. Rewind. Oh, my. Hey, hey. Y'all got one more for Hey, pop that rewind. That week, oh, the weekday line? Oh, my God. What you say, What you say, Dre? I forgot what I said. <laughs> <laughs> every day like a weekend. Oh, my God. Yeah, Bars. we party every day like the weekend. Yes. That's what I said. We're going to run it up mm-hmm. for real. It sounds down. Okay, there's some other new shit off the legacy. Off that legacy. Keep it true. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hear it. You feel me? You keep turning it more down. I hear you. Fat B. Hey, hey. Hey, out the way, but I ain't hard to find. These niggas tripping, really hate to see a nigga shining. I'm working hard, 25 a overtime. That's worth the J Stone. You can find baby by that payphone on the same block with little homie got his face bone for playing around. That little nigga should have stayed home and did his homework, but instead he got that don't work. Yo, homie's got to slide for that. If not, then it's gonna hurt. We see that story every day up in Pomona. Boy, I don't think you're trying to play up in Pomona. Look, mama used to tell me that my homies ain't my homies. I can see you phony. Gotta watch these niggas closely. Y'all be solo, dolo, tucked away in the momo. I used to be. Yeah, Uncle stands too when I'm low low. Uh, I had a dream I would make it here. I am. Fuck your hand out. I'm better off just sticking to my plan, boy. Get on your shit. Fuck your hand out. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm the nigga with the plan now. The hardest nigga out the town, nigga, hands down. Yeah, I used to leave a nigga face down. Now it's blue faces all up in their face now. Mm. Hold on, look. Mm. Mm. Uh, hey, and I'm that flow spitter, inferior, no nigga, hoes either, get canceled, go digger, poor fit the cold liquor, no kicker, five on ones cuffed at the bottom, no zipper, soul lifter, boot shredder, rapper eater, beat slayer, southern bass, no tweeter, Ooh. white beater, spin ether, keep a heater, millimeter, then we talk over margaritas, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to play the block all night, uh, uh, you know, happy hour, right. a couple dollars got me tripping on my own kind, sober up, hot sauce with the pork rinds. These niggas tough until we pull up on them tripping up. 85, Cuddy, ride a gang, nigga, dipping slow. Dip hey, y'all was sipping True Legacy y'all in Vegas at the ride place. Again. Rap and killer, I ain't never left a trace. True Boy, Legacy. Get on your shit, fucking hand out. Pomona Drake. Pomona yeah. Legacy. Oh, my God. That, 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 that was serious, man. Yeah. That, that was serious. Pomona Drake cooked that shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. That margarita, that margarita okay. line. Yeah. Man, yeah. 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 Wasn't we chopping it up over margarita? I see you, Pete. Yeah, that's right, Pomona yeah. Drake, yeah. man. Yeah. I didn't. Man. I released them on y'all. Yeah, P-Town. <laughs> P-Town. I'm down in the building, man. You me? I appreciate y'all. But, yeah, them two new joints coming out soon. You feel me? Exclusive. Yeah. Never been hurt. Exclusive motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah he been locked away man. putting these together, oh, yeah, man. Definitely, yeah, definitely. He, he been in his bag. Right, and Shoddy too, man. That's man. all engineered by Shoddy, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, we've been working, man. So, you know, just get ready. Got the new music on the way. Shoddy Boy Beats on the Instagram. Pomona Dre, we got the new music 
I'm trying to tell y'all, oh, well, man. Say, say Get ready. Pee on them, huh? Oh, they yeah. on them. Hey, say y'all IG, both of y'all, so that everybody can know what it is. Shotty Boy Beats. S-H-O-T-E-B-O-I-B-E-A-T-Z. And I'm me. Pomona Dre. Everybody know me, you feel me? Pomona Dre, Google me. Yeah. Google me. Google me. <laughs> yeah, Sugar Bear Live on there. He should yeah. be working, but he on the live. He ain't okay, working. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> Sugar Bear Live. It's yeah, all good. Sugar Bear on there. Sugar all Bear really Entertainment. Live. Definitely, uh, no, nah, that was lit. We, we we appreciate that. Hell yeah, man. Uh, True talent up in this moment. We definitely yeah. want to say what's up to our sponsors, which yes. is Symposium, who did the live stream, and also Vertical, all day, every day. Yes. So we live now, and then Thursday. Thursday at 5 p.m. on Hayes Network. Download yep. the app. Download. Y'all be able to see it as well. This show right here that just aired. Uh, Super Bad Inc. It's going to be the next Thursday. This Thursday it'll yeah. be in the mailer. So this is how we do it. Thursday. Yeah. So uh, yeah, a week to promote it. We, we we definitely like I said you got yeah you got a week to promote it. We'll we'll put it out there. Drop that beat, Andrew. Drop that funky beat, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh yeah. So at the end of the day, y'all, this was a great show. Appreciate everybody. Super Bad Ink presents Coffee Pot. My number from first. And uh, it's all good. Devo over there cutting deals. We made it out. Hey, I gotta ride that bicycle, man. Yeah. I gotta take care of my baby girl. <laughs> I, I, I ain't mad at you. So Hell no. we appreciate you. P, Sean, Debo, we appreciate Church. y'all. Thanks we for having y'all, us, man. We love Rico, you. This is nice. Andrew, once again, this big loss, we out. Holla. All right, thanks, P. We people. love you. Yeah. You're listening to Hayes Radio Network. Cannabis Lifestyle Radio.